Why, you egg-sucking piece of gutter trash. You always liked pushing around people smaller than you. While I'm smaller, try pushing me! Whatever you say, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is two of my favorite characters combined into one. It is Safety and then Now I use polymerization to fuse them together. Together in one. Sabretooth is so so cool in his own right. Like he is such an awesome character. Just solo on his own. Like he's just badass. So it makes total sense to just venomize him. Now I actually took the inspiration from one of the reference arts that I saw. It was a cover art actually. And uh, here's the image here. And I thought, wow, that is so, so cool. You're gonna hear me say that a lot in this video because I absolutely love these characters merged together. Then, now I'm pretty certain he didn't actually make it into any of the comics as Venomized Sabretooth, but he did end up as a poison that looks similar to this one right here. Uh, so we never officially saw Venomized Sabretooth. Now the artist who drew this, props to you man, seriously, like you went all out and it looks incredible. And I really, really wanted to represent that in the custom. I wanted it to get as physically close as possible to that artwork. Let's just check out the extra head. And there it is, Venomized Sabretooth looking like he's supposed to, I suppose, in the comic books. We're just gonna put Sabretooth official aside for a minute and just take a look at this beautiful head sculpt. I wanted it to look so close to the comic book, but I noticed certain things didn't translate too well from my previous image on Instagram, if you've been following me. He didn't look like this officially. He actually had, it was like a cut, and then it was yellow and orange. And that did look very comic book, but it just didn't sync right with me. So I wanted to get the head more aesthetically pleasing. So I went with a brown and I faded it through the layers like fur. Like, so it's a black to a brown, to a yellow, to an orange, to a cream, and then like a flesh tone. And it just fades beautifully. And it's the same for the like the eyes. They were too white. I, I don't know what it was, but I just didn't like it. So I've added like like creams and browns in there just to kind of lift it and then edge highlight it with a white. Don't know whether this is coming through on camera. And it's the same for the mouth and the teeth. So it was like a flat gray all the way around. And I didn't like that. So I've kind of blended it in with blacks and wanted it to look a little bit more natural. And it's the same for the side of the mouth here. I've gone from a gray to a flesh tone brown up into his head so that it looks like it all kind of flows. Inside is a pink with a high vis pink which is gloss. Same for the teeth, it's a black, it used to be flat white so now it's like a grey, cream and white. I like this head but for some reason, I don't know why, but I don't quite like how the eyes flow into the hair, I think that's kind of strange. A little bit weird, but it is accurate to the source material, right? Like, that's how it actually looks. Or at least I think so. So after watching the video back, I clearly can see that those eyes aren't quite right. They need to be slimmed down. I always go back and re-edit anything that looks wrong. Now, for this video, I didn't re-edit it. But I will probably update you guys very shortly with the new head sculpt. Hopefully I can get those eyes correct and maybe make some minor adjustments. So you'll see that these spirals on the shoulders, they come down onto the shoulders and then they swirl. On the original design, again I'm going to keep bringing this up because I want to constantly reference it, he has 
almost like a spiral on this shoulder or vice versa and then another spiral on the bicep and not the shoulder and I think it was just the way that it was drawn because the proportions look kind of off and where it's angled you can't really see what's quite like quite going on in these shoulders and biceps and because he's so muscular and huge it's very hard to kind of translate where these spirals need to go I felt like having them on the shoulders made way more sense simply because it, it draws your eye into this beautiful mane and this mane is several different colors you can tell that it's like a brown orange it's got different coats and then it's like airbrushed and all kind of blended in this is completely made out of green stuff sculpt you'll see the work in progress right here so you, it, it took a lot I think it took 24 inches of green stuff to get this to look the way that it needs to look and I absolutely love it again the colors weren't like this so on Instagram if, if you're watching this this is obviously updated now he's had a lot more shading brought in and yeah, definition to kind of make him look more, I don't know, ferocious, animalistic. So I added my own kind of touches to the design to hopefully improve it. Uh, he does fully articulate. The white was incredibly difficult. I can't emphasize enough. If, I mean, this is Caliban, right? This, this mold is literally based off this mold, right? So I've added design elements to switch it up. I didn't even use the Caliban hands. You can see that they're actually different. It probably would have looked nice with the Caliban hands, but it doesn't make sense from trying to copy the comic book because the comic book doesn't have the long fins. It has like this texture, these spikes everywhere. Again, the reference art is here to kind of show you. And then the hands, you know, they, they've got the symbols now. They don't. Uh, I updated that quite recently. One of the things I do need to go back and update is he's supposed to have three stripes and I only did two and that's simply because the white is incredibly difficult. I sprayed the white maybe about 18 times, I'm not even joking. I kept putting my finger into the white and it kept messing up the paint job. I uh, had purples and blues and God knows what else I kept putting my finger in because I'd pick it up and be like, oh, what needs to be painted? And then I'd I'd have summit on my hands because my hands are always covered in paint even though I wash them thoroughly all the time it will always end up with some kind of marking so I have to go in respray it white repaint all the black and it was incredibly infuriating I can't emphasize that enough I really can't so with that being said I kind of am a little bit intimidated to add another black line on each just in case I mess it up and have to spray it again like you know I had a lot of issues with the shoulders but you can see that they do raise all the way and there's no chipping or anything but man that gave me grief on both sides and again the inside of here was a major issue i did cure that and the legs also gave me a bit of grief but again i, I cured all that this is one of the heads i made this is actually a dark beast you'll see the work in progress here i reworked it and made it all nice and pretty and you can see the paint job on that is gorgeous. I, I'm really proud of this one. I re-sculpted all the hair and uh, I wanted it to look more saber tooth than symbiote. And this is probably my favorite head, to be honest, because it just looks so intimidating. Like that little chuckle he's got, like that smile is so scary. And it's the same for this head here. If you look, I reworked this head. This is repainted. I did this about two years ago. I really feel like a bit of paint and a bit of sculpt really does allow these saber tooth heads to look gorgeous. This is the original. You can see there's quite a hell of a difference. You know, it doesn't really look too much like a toy anymore. It looks more like a well-painted designed head. This mold, I'm not a fan of, honestly. And I'm not a fan of this particular design. I, I did change the hands because I'm a little kit bash. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, having him this big is really nice, but I'd like to see a saber tooth on the Omega Red mold. It just makes total sense. I've seen so many people do it and it just looks amazing. Um, so yeah, the Caliban bath. The reason why I upgraded him from this to this is because in the reference art it looks huge. So obviously I would put saber tooth stock stand. This isn't my definitive saber tooth. I would have him on Omega Red and Omega Red would be his scale, right? So the next mold up from Omega Red would be Caliban. That's just how I see things. If a character is on a certain mold, 
and they get venomized, they should always go up a scale. It just makes sense. Like, they grow in size, venom makes them bigger, is muscular, normally. And uh, I really wanted to kind of represent the size and the growth of the character when it got venomized. One thing I haven't done yet is I haven't changed the head to see if the movie Venom <coughs> head looks any good on this. <laughs> kind of looks a little bit funky. But I kind of like it. It's interesting. But uh, yeah, that's just a little funny. And uh, I'll probably end up with this head more. No, I don't know. But yeah, guys, this has been Sabretooth. Would you like to see some size comparisons? Yeah, let's do let's do size comparisons. Let's pop him about here. That's a good variation of molds. So you can see he's a big boy. He's a big boy. And that's what we want from Sabretooth, a huge character. So the paints I used for this were Vallejo for the main. Started off with a yellow, and then I kind of built up the layers one by one using these various different airbrushing techniques to layer it up. The white was a mixture between metal medium from Vallejo and a high gloss from Model Masters, and then the black was a high gloss Model Masters black. So these are the paints I did use, and then obviously I hit it with a lacquer to give it that seal of approval so that it doesn't have any paint rub and yeah he articulates as you can see with no joint rub at all because that's just how I do it so yeah I hope you enjoy this custom because I do I absolutely love this character and I love this custom and he's definitely one of my favorites so thank you very much for watching I'll catch you on the next one.